so we can talk about probably my favorite homestead animals and those are chickens chickens why chickens because they're kind of like cats in a way they mostly take care of themselves do a lot of stuff on their own and mostly you just have to feed them make sure they're protected and harvest their eggs clean their coop and it's pretty simple so this is this is our small coop um, so I'm harvesting eggs right now now this egg right here that's not an egg that's a wooden egg and we have that there to encourage the chickens to lay in this particular spot so I've discovered that they really like white pine needles I wouldn't use um, just any pine needles white pine needles are actually really soft so these are our two nest boxes this coop um, was commercially produced coop and it was not cheap you can build your own for pretty cheap um, but we added a lot of stuff to it one of the things we added is this piece of wood right here my husband calls this the poop deck because basically the poop falls on it and we actually added some linoleum to it and then you can scrape it off really well then up here we've got these nice roost bars that he put in he added a flat panel heater because we're really nice to our chickens and um, one of our girls is actually going through a really bad molt right now so we're just kind of trying to support her especially at night uh, the other thing we added is there's actually a little um, kind of a loft up there you can't really see it from this side um, but I'll show you what it looks like on the other side all right so the reason so the reason we put these fake eggs in here um, is it gets the chickens to lay where you want them if you don't give them a place to lay they'll find somewhere to lay and uh, the first time we ever did this in our house um, in the uh, suburbs they found a little spot in the garden and we didn't find it until much later and there was a pile of something like a dozen eggs and uh, here they uh, decided that the prairie was a great place to lay eggs and I've got a video clip showing one of my chickens uh, decided to lay 25 eggs out there before we found her figured out where she went she went broody which means they decide they're gonna hatch eggs so up here this is our little loft up here that my my husband installed so what we do is basically we'll cover this we'll actually cover this with some insulation in the winter time but in the summer we leave this open so that you can get um, fresh air basically coming in it does still get a little bit stuffy and you can see that one back there there's some hardware cloth and a little opening there so you can open that um, to give them some more ventilation We've got the light out here for when it gets really really cold um, but that doesn't happen too often so got the little ramp that allows them to get in got the little door if you really want to keep them safe you can close that you can actually buy an automatic door if you're really lazy about hey I need to be home in time to close the chickens up you can actually get an automatic door unfortunately sometimes it kills chickens some of them so you have to be careful with that <laughs> One of the things we did and probably the most important things for your chickens is to make sure your coop is strong against predators so one of the things that predators can do is they can dig under your coop so if you notice here we've got some hardware cloth and it's also kind of nice it means that the chickens can't tear up the grass underneath so I probably would have put a little bit more down this one's kind of on the side of a hill so we kind of had to boost it up so we added in this thing we call it the skirt um, but underneath you can see here basically there's hardware cloth underneath this all the way around so if an animal tries to dig under it um, basically they get blocked and they're not going to get anywhere so number one thing is you want to make sure that your coop is secure because most of the predators that are going to come after your chickens are going to come um, during the night and see this here never use chicken wire to actually build a chicken coop um, because most animals can get through it this stuff is really strong so this is really hard wire so if an animal tries to get in here it's not going to be able to get in there and for this latch I actually add we've added these little things and the idea is it's probably going to be hard for a raccoon to figure out how to open this do this then open this and get the get the door open 
Raccoons are pretty smart, but they're hopefully not going to figure that out. We added these extra nest boxes, and I added a bunch more um, <laughs> lots and lots of pine needles because it's getting kind of cold, and I thought they might appreciate that. So I got some more wooden eggs in here. So here's a wooden egg. That one's one of our chicken eggs. Two wooden eggs. That's one of our eggs. These are really nice. These are Easter egger eggs. These come from a breed of chickens that lay colored eggs. And I really, really like them. They have muff beards. I've got one little uh, feeder in here, which I sometimes use, especially when it's raining. Um, but we've mostly got this supported by lots of different things, um, plus the skirt on the outside. So it's pretty solid. It's not really going to go anywhere. I've got the actual chicken run. So this is all fenced. Um, I've got the pallets out there for them to have places to stand on. They are also places if they need to take cover. Over here, I would highly suggest you have some shrubs and different things for them to hide under. It is fenced in the back. Um, but you also probably want to have some small trees for shade. I've actually got a lot of fruit trees out here. This is an apple tree over here. Then I've got some pear trees right over there. That's our rooster, Bossy. You don't have to have a rooster. Chickens will lay eggs anyway. Um, I didn't understand that when I first got chickens something like seven years ago. Um, but they are useful, especially if you are going to free-range your flock at all, because... The rooster is usually will either alert them to danger or sometimes will even actually run off um, dangerous animals. Not always, um, but sometimes. So anyway, that's pretty much what you need to have chickens. You just need a little bit of area to have a run. Um, I hi a lot of people will put covers on this. Um, if you have good cover for the chickens to hide under, like shrubs like this, you don't really need a cover. As, unless you're going to have like really small ones like ban bantam chickens that are really small and can be picked up by a lot of uh, flying predators like hawks and things. But if you've got places for the chickens to hide under, um, they're usually pretty good at it. They'll, be, especially if you have a rooster or you have a good head hen, um, they'll, they'll actually let out a call and let the other chickens know that something's going on. Now, one of the things I would highly advise is make sure you have some grass. Now, we've kind of been adding back some grass seed because we kind of have a few too many chickens for this area, um, but we're trying to maintain the grass that we have um, because when chickens eat grass, it goes into their eggs, and their eggs become a really nice bright orange, and that orange color is actually beta carotene, and that's actually the advantage of having your own eggs and growing your own eggs because you cannot buy that at a store. It's really almost impossible to buy eggs like that at a store. So you can see these nice little patches. And the chickens actually keep um, most of the, the, we don't mow this, they actually keep it down. Hello, sweetie. She's our one chicken that we have hatched. We actually hatched her from an egg. So we took, that's one of the advantages. If you have a rooster, you can then hatch your own eggs. You get fertile eggs, but it's not necessary um, for you to just have eggs. You can just have a bunch of hens, which is what we had first when we lived um, in the suburbs, because most places, you know, they don't really want roosters. As far as a homestead animal, chickens are my favorite, and they'll eat most of the things that you will eat, and so if you have leftover food, you can actually just pitch it out to them. There's, They are reasonably smart about things that might be toxic to them and won't eat them, if you get a rooster, you got to get a rooster that respects you, and that can be that can be difficult. But he is just now a year old. He's done pretty well. He hasn't really attacked me, um, at least not for a while. And we kind of beat him up, so he's a little bit scared of me, which is good. Um, but I give him treats, so he knows that that I'm not just the evil person. I'm also the boss. So even though he's bossy, I'm the boss boss. So if if you are thinking about chickens and getting ch and having children or have small children, I do not recommend a rooster um, because ours, he does not like our children, even though they kind of grew up together. He's still, he's not very trustworthy, but he's okay with adults. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy with adults. You are.